Uh, hi, my name is Nihal Engin Vrana. I'm from INSAM Unit 977 in Strasbourg and France. And today I will talk to you about our recent paper in Biotechnology and Bioengineering Journal, which is about the modification of macroporous uh, tracheal titanium implants uh, for improving in, in vivo integration and uh, epitalization. We have been working with uh, macroporous titanium implants uh, for quite a while. The main advantage of these implants are that they have an open pore structure. They can be uh, integrated to body quite easily. A fibrovascular tissue forms within them. They can be modified with different biomaterials, whether it is hydrogels, foams, or, or surface coatings. And uh, also, they have the necessary mechanical properties of a metallic implant with the uh, advantages of a porous structure. Uh, in this uh, current case, in our previous uh, studies with porous titanium implants, one thing we have noticed is that uh, our control over the cell move movement in vivo uh, was not high, and this study was aimed to improve the control. First, by adding a micro uh, porous PLA body within the uh, open pore structures of the titanium, and secondly, having a film layer, a basement membrane mimicking film layer based on collagen and alternate uh, to improve the movement of epithelial cells. We have previously shown that both these structures are effective in vitro with the primary cells. Uh, the current work is our immune results with the, the New Zealand white rabbits, which were sub, uh, used for full tracheal replacement of 2 cm length for 1 to 6 weeks. Um, here you, uh, in this figure you can see our design and as you can see when there is no uh, PLA, there is movement of the cells and the material movement is slow, but with the film layer and the uh, microporous structure we are hoping to improve this. Uh, the, for this first thing we checked was the histology over the course of time and what we have observed is that about in 4 weeks time in the case of no uh, polymer the cells were able to migrate into the lumen and the, uh, this uh, marked the commencement of stenosis whereas in the presence of the PLA uh, cells were also able to move in but they couldn't reach them and it took them six weeks to the reach to the half of the implant, which prevented the stenosis and uh, uh, act as a, a cushion. And uh, for the epithelial cells, the movement was still slow, and for this reason, uh, we have decided that we would need an uh, extra in situ epithelialization uh, step necessary. And for this end, we needed to know when would be the right time of this epitalization and also since trachea is very open to uh, infections we would like to monitor the health of the animals too and this was the second part of our experiments where we monitored the health of the animals by C reactive protein readings uh, the plasma analysis for chromogranin both are uh, our acute uh, injury uh, markers and also inflammatory markers and also the general analysis of uh, plasma proteins by HPLC and uh, sequencing. And this uh, has shown us that the, for the inflammation due to the implant, the, the af after an initial hack in the pro-inflammatory uh, signs, if there is no infection, they fell down, they stay uh, higher than the health animals, but within the acceptable range. And more importantly, whenever there is an infection, we can uh, notice and interfere uh, with these readings, which is an important uh, parameter we were able to save some animals with this. Um, and the characterization of the blood samples show that, uh, uh, show that we have been able to uh, correlate the changes seen in the animal health with the hemoglobin beta chain uh, readings. Um, so this is a uh, nice venue to check the health of the animals with uh, such uh, areas where the infection rate is higher. Uh, the third part was, as I said, the in vivo the epitalization was low. So we have developed a uh, new surface coating based on layer by layer technology, uh, which utilizes polyelectrolytes to create uh, multiple layers. Uh, here we use collagen and alginate because uh, collagen is the 
uh, this uh, couple were able to form nanofibers quite similar to the basement membrane and this structure uh, is good for the epithelial growth and we would like to have a thick uh, coating so we have uh, 24 months layers and the uh, important part is to uh, not to damage the uh, microporous structure of the PLA layer. and because of the hydrophilic hydrophobic interactions of the structures uh, when we apply this layer on top of our uh, hybrid implants uh, the structure was conserved and we have a, a thin 400 nanometer layer on top of the uh, the implant which was able to support uh, primary epithelial cells obtained from uh, human tissues uh, for long periods of time and uh, this might uh, improve the epithelialization even more. And the last part of our uh, work is that since our observations show that uh, uh, institute epithelialization might be a better venue and we have observed that we will need about three weeks for full integration. We have done uh, subcutane uh, in implantations for three weeks and after that we uh, have seeded primary epithelial cells on top of our implants to see whether uh, integration with the body provides a good surface for epithelial attachment. And our results with the labeled cells, as you can see from the figure, show that cells were able to attach and proliferate on these surfaces, which was a proof of concept show that institute epithelialization is stable. And our current work is focused on doing this in vivo to see whether we can obtain a fully differentiated epithelial layer with a long-term functioning uh, titanium implant uh, and uh, we hope to publish our results on these soon. Uh, thank you for listening and I hope our research will help you in your own endeavors. Bye.